A soft yellow glow spilled out onto the pavement. The lights were on for It's a Small World, fading into the deep shadows. And in the shadows was a figure. I expected to feel a rumble in my stomach. Instead, I felt a sinking feeling. Drag it to the floor. There, as plain as could be, was the haunting offer which must have only come from Satan himself. It would have to be more than one person to shake the fence so violently. My dad turned back to his squad member and said there's no one there. His squad member then replied with, Fuck this, I'm out of here! Welcome to episode 68. Oh, Ghost 6, fuck, 8. Shall we try it again? No. <laughs> that was my favourite <laughs> intro. Right, yeah, welcome to Ghost Ones. Listen to me. What? Listen to me. What? You've got something on your face. What is it? Oh, it's a bit of glitter. Oh, is it? Why have I got glitter on? I thought it was like a, like a mole. Oh, it can stay. Listen to me, okay. madam. Okay. Before we go any further, yes. have you tricked me at Castle Howard? What are you talking about? Was it you? Was I have to know. I've sent you a text about it and you haven't responded. Have we found a ghost or are you scaring me? Uh, <laughs> I'm very, I okay. feel very overwhelmed. Listen, guys. I've, have you not seen the videos I sent you? Um, yeah. Right. But I thought you were having me on. I swear to you, I've had Stephen and Matt on it all weekend. I have shit my pants. This is not me. <laughs> I, I think we found a ghost. Can you play it into the mic? Yeah. I'm going to because I've got shivers thinking about it. Really? I'm, I'm shaking. Can you see me? Oh, yeah, you're on the edge. I'm actually fucking... <laughs> you are on so the edge. So basically, to give a bit of a backstory, oh my me and She's... Susie, every month on Patreon, we go and we do little haunting... Oh, fuck! For those who so cannot sorry. see, Susie's <laughs> just dropped loads of coffee to herself. Fucking hell! It's fine. Carry on. I've got it down my chin. Are you good? <laughs> You look like you thought you were about to die. Like you're about to shuffle off the mortal <laughs> coil. I might be. I am oh, honestly, no, but honestly, I'm actually scared what? Go on. that it's you. So basically, me and Susie, we go every month to a ghost to a ghost hunt in various different places. This time we went to Castle Howard. Yeah. I was editing the, the I was editing to be fair, we didn't really see anything. Nothing really happened in the first section of the castle anyway. Yeah. It's out there on Patreon. If you want to go and see it, go ahead. But listen, there were two times that I've heard something. Because I was sat there at my parents' house, earphones on, really reminded me of that story. Do you remember on one of the very first episodes where someone's doing the work and someone's behind them like, good job you didn't turn around. Do you remember? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, we have so a headphone. Yeah, yeah, I'm in yeah. my parents' house. In your haunted house. My fucking parents have gone out, dirty bastards. Yes. Gone out all night long till 1am. Sat there in my house and I heard it in my earphones. And I turned around, the door was open, there was black in the hallway. I fucking shit myself all night long. So this is what I heard, right? That There's two. The first one, tell me if you can hear this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Right? There's another one. I'm so scared. That's and weird. this one, this one's got a bit of back into it because you remember when we were in Lady Georgiana's bedroom and we were trying to look for the trap door? Yeah. You're looking for it yeah. behind the bed, and this is what happens. Oh, hang on, it's not this. Oh. No. Oh. No. Great. Great. What? Great. Like fire great. No, do you think? Oh, I thought that was someone just going, great. Who? Well, was it not hooked up to Georgie? Right. The problem with this is, is that Georgie's mic, you can't, you can barely hear her anyway. That whisper has to go right up against somebody's mic. Because she was mic'd up. Yeah, but you can't even, like, it was so hard to hear her anyway. I really had to work on her sound levels. Let really? me tell you. Georgie is not good with the mic. God love her. She's an excellent. <laughs> oh, right. I could, you couldn't even hear it. She was so oh, it's quiet really close. even when she's talking. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you again. I'm, uh, it's scary. Because in my head, what happened? For, okay, this is my explanation. For the first one, because Georgie's mic'd up, as she goes round the corner, she sees the caretaker. She does. And she goes, probably like, because we're y yakking off behind her, and she's like, hello. No, but she does, but she goes, hello. Like right, oh. she's just seen them. So immediately after that, it's, hello. And then she goes, hello. Oh, do you think it's a ghost responding like to Like she's to responding. Her? No, she says hello afterwards. 
Oh. So the ghost the goes... Is, is Georgie <sighs> communing with the ghost? And she goes, hello. Well, I think you are. I'm not. Because... <laughs> I'm fucking not. I better fucking not be. Because I, it's every time after you speak, the ghost is like talking after you. So I think it's you. But I'm going to play you that That's really again. weird. It's fucking free. I thought well, it was it's you. Not, it's not me. I thought it was you messing with me. No, it's not. Well. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no, that's really... That's not someone going, hello. <laughs> Do you know that, what I mean? But also, you can see me. I'm not saying hello I in know, that. but I just... I thought you maybe so you might not. have... it's not. Well, your head, the back of your head's... No, it... I mean, even if that but was me without meaning was to you. be, I, I haven't done that deliberately. Well, I thought you would have had to have done it deliberately because it can only be done deliberately. Because you don't even what if you... What about you, was, you dickhead? It, uh, well, I know, I know. Oh, but look. It, I swear to you. Have you looked you, at yourself in the mirror? Honestly, ask Matt and Stephen. I've been talking about it all weekend. I've been. I've sent it all to my family WhatsApp group and everyone's like, I can hear it. It sounds fucking creepy. It sounds like someone's gone... That's really <sighs> weird. ...into the mic. And like, listen, our, our production levels... With our mics are not the, the most incredible or sensitive mics. You can hear them, but you can't, you wouldn't you be able to, to pick really... that off. Hello. Hello. I'm going to do it one more time. Great. Also, it does sound like me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It sounds like me. It sounds, it sounds like anybody going, hello. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's fuck. So, what's that so, about? I don't know, but I'm telling you now, I'm fucking scared. It's just sound I just, I just was convinced that was Georgie. I just don't see why she she just wouldn't she would have had to have done it on purpose. Maybe she was messing with us. I just don't see that no, happening. No, I don't think she was. She wasn't really like. I'm the type fucking to... scared. God, what do you think happened? We've we've basically I think caught a ghost. You were looking for the. I think you were looking for the. Because when Matt said, I was I was showing Matt. I was like, it sounds like she's saying great, and he went the fire grate. That's where the door is. Is it behind the fire? We never grate. found out. Well, nobody's saying like that might be where it is. That's where the door is. I bet. Oh. But I was like, oh my God, we have to find out. Oh, we have because to go Because it back. sounded like you were looking for it and you went, no, I can't see it. And then it went, great. 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 <laughs> or it's, great, I'm glad you couldn't find my fucking passage. Yeah, you fucking you nosy bitch. <laughs> Just mug how, off out of my castle. Uh, if you want to see the full thing, it is on patreon.com slash Yeah. But how petrifying is That's that? That's really awful. Some people on Patreon saw the great before I did. I Yeah, yeah I did not pick up on that and I watched it. I didn't hear it. If you've got earphones on, you can hear it. Oh, How petrifying really? is that? Oh, uh, what? Who do you think that is? I think it's a ghost. But who? Lady Georgiana. Georgiana, the one who had yeah. tons of kids. Yeah. Yeah, she's. Or one of the kids. Fuck. Doesn't sound like completely menacing. Well, that does isn't it, the it only weird spooky. thing to have happened. <clears throat> Another weird thing that happened when we were there was when we heard someone sit down on a pew. Me and Susie both heard it at the exact. Same yeah. time, and that that was very creepy. Like that's it. That's like in retrospect yeah. creepy. That happened in real time. Where yeah, I was it like, does. it was like a. Uh, uh, I just assumed you'd um, hit something against the pew or something. No, scared, scared the shit out of ourselves. Yeah. We both went. Oh, what was that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh um, my god. Anyway, okay. how are you? Well, amazing. I'm quite. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm glad we found. Do you know what? I fucking, bring it on. I fu- it scared I the shit out of me. I want right? the ghosts. And then I could have sworn. I, I mean, I was, I was, I was really in my own head. So, but then I, you know, our, you know, our bathroom light. It's got like the pulley thing. Yeah. And I heard a ding ding, like oh, somebody you're pulled there the light by on. yourself. Yeah. And nothing. You'd have to pull that light, and no one was in. Are you serious? I, yeah, but my mind was so scared that I was like, today, did I make that up? Oh, I see. At that point, whatever happened, I can't. I think something. I, I've always said this. Something is odd at your house. And maybe something's attached to us because I was alone in the house the other day, um, and I, I honestly I heard like creaks and like walking about, and I was like I was so tired. I just thought I can't even go and have a look, but I've heard it. Yeah, at that point, what is gonna what good is gonna come of? Yeah, unless it's wind it. and it was a windy like it's been really windy and rainy and I don't know. I've always been quite it. a lazy victim when things like that have happened, so um, I'll just go bad. Can I read this really funny email that came through? Yes, to please. Us? So um, a guy called Adam said, hi, Ghost Times. This may be my mind working overtime, but something strange happened to me after I sat down to enjoy my break at work this afternoon. As soon as I pressed play on episode 22 of your hilarious podcast, I immediately Correct. noticed a Just Eat notification. Oh, I've seen that. popped this up at the top so of my funny. phone screen. I'm so glad you're reading this. When I clicked to see what treats I was being offered, I expected to feel a rumble in my stomach. Instead, I felt a sinking feeling. Drag it to the floor. There, as plain as could be, was the haunting offer which must have only come from Satan himself. Six free chicken 
nuggets. Oh <laughs> my god! I can I can honestly say the way it made me feel, it may as well have been six 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 nuggets. That is freaky. Was it just a coincidence that I received a reference to six chicky nuggies the second I played your podcast? Maybe, or maybe it's unequivocal proof of the spirit world, and more specifically, something beyond our understanding. Trying to make contact in any way it could. Admittedly, they would have had to listen to your podcast, but who's to say that isn't possible? No, I've attached a screenshot as proof, though I imagine it won't be enough for the skeptics. But sadly, it's all I have to offer. Uh, Thank you for your time in making my new favourite podcast, Adam. P.S. The restaurant location is redacted so Lynn can't find me and steal my eyes. What a beautifully written email. Oh, my God. Can't see just the office without my eyes now, can I? No. I mean, Adam. Wow. How do you feel about that? Because that's... Now you know her. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Um... Well, I think what's happening today is that everything's pointing to a paranormal world. Something's fucking happening. As I try to make my way, because I was to also talking about um, world. I went to Blackpool the weekend. I was also talking about the tide because me and Stephen and Matt sat and watched the tide. It, oh, by the way, also saw one of the most hilarious things. You saw the tide, as in you were watching the sea. I was just watching the sea. Yes, yeah. so the tide was coming in really fast. So we were like, "I'll just sit and wait for the tide to come in," because we were sat on the steps. Yeah. Anyway, so the sea comes in, it starts to engulf the steps, and we're like, oh, this is exciting, isn't it? Then we see a man over... um, This was not a ghost, it was definitely real. This man was stood, like, on the sand, taking loads of photos, and he was there for ages, just, like, in his own little fucking world. And the sea, because it was, like, this part was, like, a high part of the sand that this man was standing on, so the sea came round the sand, and he ended up just being completely stranded. On his own little sand island. On his own little sand island. I mean, we were like, what is he going to do now? Because it was so deep. It was like, it was like dick length. Oh. (laughs) Crotch length. I'm saying that because he's a man. Crotch length. Oh, I thought you meant dick length as in, like... (laughs) (laughs) It was about as high as a peen. (laughs) A little sausage <laughs> roll. <laughs> so high as a penis. Um, no, it was right up to oh, crotch height. Crotch height. Um, and it Poor was very guy. funny. This is how people fucking it die. Was re- yeah, but people had come round and been like, get off the fucking... And we were like, we're just on the steps, so we'll just walk up the steps when we're ready to leave. But it was very funny. And then he started he started wading through the sea <laughs> to get to the steps. I mean, it was freezing as well. It was sunny, but it was very cold. Yeah. Um, and then he fell over. <laughs> Oh, did, did his camera survive? But I can't, yeah, I think, yeah, he kind of like, went, oh, God. Like, and he's soaked. He's soaked. But I don't like, I, I honestly, I know it's bad, but I don't, there's not much on this planet that I find funnier than someone falling over. Yeah, oh, no. It's, it's, it's more the reaction afterwards. Yeah, it's like, I think I've said this before, like if I <clears> um, trip, I look down at what I've tripped up on to be yeah. like, oh, sorry, yeah. what was that about? Oh, oh. Oh, Where's that come from? <laughs> yeah, because it's such rude girls in the house. Um, yeah, I completely agree. Could you please get a tarot? Yes. Although, I would say, I already know what the vibe is for this episode, and it's haunted. I have yet again uh, left the tarot in a box of props, which is... Not, what's your star sign? We have to decide this first. Virgo. Virgo. Virgin. Virgo. Oh, for Sagittarius, by accident, that'd be, be the same thing, wouldn't it? This one's very specific, so what's your birthday? Um, 20th of September, 87, bitch. No one should act me. Ask, act me. Oh, are we doing a different kind of tarot vibe? Well, this is, like, very specific, this oh. one. But what are you about to ask me my eye What and pin year number? were you bound? <laughs> were you bound? <laughs> what, were you I'm... born? 1973. Okay, ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what time you were born? I think it was 11.15. <laughs> Very specific to only <laughs> thing. Most people would go, I think it was around 11. It was 11.15. <laughs> it was around 11.57. Um, 11.15 a.m. p.m. A.m. And it was a Sunday because I'm Sunday's child, which means I'm bountiful and gay or something. Oh, yeah, you're gay. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm Wednesdays, full of woe. Oh, yeah. That, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? Makes is. fucking sense. Relationship oh. status, single. <laughs> Why did you do that face at me? Just because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have a crying fit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, no, I'm joking. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Um, Happily business owner. I'm business owner. That's your, that's yeah, your, yeah, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Greatest wish, money, new love, luck, work or self-image. Ooh, it's got to be money luck, or self. Luck, 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 really? Yeah, I want some okay. luck. Because then it fits into all the rest. That's true, actually. Yeah. Um, You were born in the UK, were you? Uh, yeah, bitch. City, London. 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 Boiling in here. Female. Fucking hell, this is ages, Susie. Oh. 
Okay, you ready to find out your tarot? Yes. Okay. Oh, why is this? Sorry, to Tim. This is just my like. Way to a paranormal world. I must learn. To Sorry, this survive. is going to have to go through. No, I'm singing. This isn't getting cut. Little <laughs> little dickhead. <laughs> I am dickhead? serenading. That sounds like my rap name. Little dickhead. <laughs> little dickhead. Right, okay. You have got... What? Hey, this is pretty good. Is it? Is it like the yeah. Empress? Listen, no, it's what... I don't think we've had this before. The lovers. Oh. The lovers. The lovers. The lovers. Have we had that before? I'm sure You I'm want clear. love or a new love in your life. It's a good job you're not in a relationship. That would be awkward. And a new relationship <gasps> is in the offering. Oh, my God. Even if you are not thinking about love, you are in for a surprise. Oh, my God. If faced with a choice, it is an important one and it could affect the rest of your life. Oh, my God. Life. This is quite I, I'm, serious. I'm about to meet someone who's you're... going to be a, maybe a big thing in my no, life. No, you know what's about to happen. You're about to get, you're about to get embraced in a love triangle. Uh, and then oh, what? like some fucking polyamory shit. No, like you and two men are going to be vying for your attention. Oh, I like that. That's yeah. better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better than Polly. Better than... We don't like Polly. We don't like Polly. The woman, or... she's a twat. <laughs> no, if you are it's polyamorous, not about polyamorous um, that's good for you. It's just not for me. It's certainly not for me. For one, I couldn't be asked. Yeah. Two people. The admin and the two jealousy. Let's to be date. clear. Let's let's be honest. I went to Blackpool the other night to a gay bar and I have never been come yeah. on to so many times. Oh, it was... Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Men and nice. Women. And I was like, oh, thank you very much, but no, thank you. And it was... Well, I don't know. It did get a bit aggressive, I'll be honest. Oh. It did get a bit aggressive, but more on that. Oh, my um, God. I accidentally cupped a man's balls today. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when... that. Were you walking? Yes! And did you go... Whoa. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Oh my god! At Charing Cross, I've done it. Oh yeah, was, it always happens. I at was Cross. I was really power walking, so I was like, "I want to yeah. get here on time." And you because just go... last week we didn't get a creep of the weekend, and we didn't get a haunted section, yeah. in, so we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna make, make up sure that. Um, but I was really, you know, and yeah. then the ball in and the, the left palm. Honestly, I've Bang. I do it. I do it once a week. <laughs> he he was power walking too, and and we both made a concerted oh effort to not. Um, do that again. That we'd done that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Did Cu you feel the? Did you of, feel? I felt the spherical nature of it. No. Did you? No. To be fair, oh, I didn't. Right. No. It was just the package. But sure, you know yeah. what I mean. Because you've really got to get in there no, on the no. ball <laughs> to feel it. Yeah. Because you, you, like, if you do, if you ever have cupped a ball sack, <laughs> my mum listens to this podcast. I probably shouldn't go any further. No, but, but if you, you have, have to press in a little bit, don't you? You have to press in. Uh, the what you're doing right now, if you can't see, she's like, it's like she's milking a cow's teeth. A crab. Crab. A lobster. A, lo a, lo <laughs> a little lobster up okay. in the balls. Should we have a story? Have you got one? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This, yeah, go on, uh, then. Do you know what? Weirdly, this one's got a little bit of ball cupping in. Oh, I'd like that. It was my boyfriend's idea. Let's stay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut my balls. I'd like to die now. It was my boyfriend's idea. Let's try and stay in the park past close. What if they catch us? We'll just say that we got confused about the time. Jeremy cleared his throat and donned a bad British accent. We're from England. We thought it was tea time. It's bloody jet lag. La, 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 la. I rolled my eyes but nodded. It did sound fun. When the time drew to 10 o'clock, the crowds of the Magic Kingdom poured towards the monorail. We stayed put, hiding in a cluster of bushes on the path around the Cinderella Castle. So it's happening in Disneyland. They're in Disneyland. They're they want gonna... to stay in Disneyland yeah. after hours. Yeah, baby. And hide in a bush. Yeah, baby. Sure. After an hour or so, the hurrying cast members and struggling guests were gone. The park was empty. So absolutely no one's been to clean up or do any kind yeah. of admin whatsoever. It is just empty. We had it all to ourselves. Mm -hmm. First, we had sex. Oh, stunning. I feel like that is wildly inappropriate. And, uh, well, hiding Disney. in a bush and then shagging in a kids' theme park is just all levels of maybe. uncomfortable and wrong. Yeah, and more uncomfortable, I would say. I, you, 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 you wouldn't catch me doing anything in a bush. Why uncomfortable? Nowadays. Oh, uncomfortable for the bush element. Yeah, if you, yeah. Yes, yeah, bushes. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you. I'm Unless an adult. there was a sort of tarmac, goofy style. You know, I like it depends. <laughs> That's not what you mean. Is <laughs> 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 this just a tarmac? Are you saying that you'd have sex with? The Listen, man dressed as goofy. If no, if you've ever, have you ever been into a playground? You know that that um, squishy tarmac. Oh yeah. In a playground. No, you're right. Well, that's not so bad, is it? 
I mean, it's, it's still hard. Basically a bed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'd lay on one of them, not just sex. <laughs> okay, I'm discovering a lot. But I have had a little me. lie down on it. Um, first, we had sex. How many people can cross that off their bucket list? I stared up at the bronze face of Gaston while Jeremy ploughed into me. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Have you written this? You uh, have, haven't you? No, I wish. This I had. is so you. I bet. Do you, I think Gaston is. This just remind me of you because Gaston is right up your street. No, he's not. He used to. He probably Are you used... kidding me? Ca- what Gaston? about that man with the tank? <laughs> oh yeah, Shamus. Shamus. So, Shamu- no, Gaston's. No, he's so arrogant. Oh yeah, but you're not gonna. You're not gonna no, like. No beast. Uh, he's a kidnapper. Yeah. And should be in jail. Have you seen that <laughs> meme about um, her reaction when he turns into a man? No. And when she's like. Oh. <laughs> She's it's really not, disappointed. It's not the best, is it? No. For, for, I mean, this is animation. They can do whatever they want. Like Prince Philip, Sleeping Beauty is, yes, please. Prince Philip? Yeah. Our, not not our, oh, not the like dead one. The dead Greek one? No, the, no Prince Philip in um, Sleeping Beauty. I don't think I can picture what he's like. He is hubba hubba. Is he? Oh, I need to look this up. I will up. never say hubba hubba. No, give it a Google. Give it a little Google and I'll carry on. Um, I stared up at the bronze face of Gaston while Jeremy ploughed into me, the cool water of the fountain licking my back. I'm not oh, sure where they fuck. are. Then we tried to climb Rapunzel's tower, break into the Beast's castle. <laughs> is that a fucking euphemism? <laughs> I don't even know what that could mean. Then we fucking climbed up on his tower. Then he shags my tower. <laughs> oh yeah. Is that oh yeah. He is hot. He's hot, isn't he? Mm, Prince girl. Philip. Girl. <laughs> girl. He's very um salt burn. Like Do you think posh so? as fuck, but you'd still. I think he's got. Oh, I just can't. No, oh, I don't no, like he... that guy in salt burn. Oh no, he's he's fit. He's Prince Philip is fit as fuck. Yeah. Even in that parrot hat. Yeah, parrot hat. Parrot hat. He's fit, isn't he? Yeah. Like the Beast and Beauty and the Beast. I don't is not think fit. I remember. I don't think Sleeping Beauty was on my roster when I was a Disney. Oh, kid. I was obsessed with it. I love those little fairies. That is not <laughs> little, <laughs> the little magic fairy. Yeah. Um. Okay. Then we tried to climb Rapunzel's tower. Not a euphemism. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, break into the Beast castle and ride the haunted mansion. All three failed. Then we collapsed against the merry-go-round in Fantasyland, laughing and aching. Let's take a breather, Jeremy said. I'm tired. <laughs> The park was silent. It, I was so used to hearing the cries of spoiled children, the cacophony of music. It almost seemed like a different park. I snuggled up next to Jeremy and stared up at the stars. They were clear and bright without all the light from the rides getting in the way. But the tranquility came to an end as a faint sound floated through the damp corridor. Ah. There's so much that we share that <laughs> it's time we're aware. It's a small world after all. It's I don't a know small how it goes. World after oh, can you read that bit then? Can you sing that bit? There's so much that we share that it's time we're aware. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how it goes, so no. I struggle to sing it. It's a small world after all. What's that from? It's, it's one of the Disney rides, isn't it? It's a small world, a small world after world. all, but someone sings that in a Disney anyway. I don't know what it's. Oh, someone's going to be screaming that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, we looked up, but you, in a, in a, listen, in a park that's supposed to be nobody there, silent, yeah. hearing it's a small world after all. Pretty sickening, really, isn't it? Yeah, that's gross. Grotesque. We looked up past Peter Pan's flight and Mickey's Philharmonic. Sorry, Philharmagic. A soft yellow glow spilled out onto the pavement. The lights were on for It's a Small World, fading into the deep shadows. And in the shadows was a figure. Jeremy, do you see that? I hissed. My heart thrummed against in my chest. Thrummed so. Oh. Thrum sounds like a oh. sex move. <laughs> yeah, all of this is a sexy story. I thrummed so far. my what's the little what's the little oh, what's no. the little string between the bell and the penis? Banjo. Yeah, I thrummed my banjo string. <laughs> I thrummed my banjo. <laughs> I was in Disneyland and I thrummed my banjo. Mom, I am uh, so sorry. This is probably the worst. This is guttural, well, and that's not my vibe. Oh yeah, it's just probably some janitor or something. Jeremy, it's coming towards us. It was true, in the yellow glow of its small world, the dark figure advanced. The silhouette was huge, tall, wide, and strange proportions. The head was too big, so were the feet, and its skin was pitch black. It took another shuffling step forward. It's Mickey. It was Mickey Mouse! No. Yes, yeah, Mickey! <laughs> it's Mickey. <laughs> or at least someone wearing the costume. You sounded like Mickey Mouse then. <laughs> no, no, what you did before what was did really before? good. Can you not do the Mickey laugh? I didn't mean to do a Mickey laugh, I just did a laugh. 
I'm sorry, but your laugh is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a Mickey impression. Um, <laughs> or at least someone wearing the costume. We bolted up and ran past the little gift shops and their cottage facades, dark and empty. The Cinderella castle stretched up to the sky in front of us, dark save for a few dim lights on the surface. <laughs> That's the shoes, Yeah, I yeah, yeah. The noise was faint now, barely audible over the wind. We ran through the castle, collapsed on the other side. Probably just one of the cast mes- members, Jeremy panted. <gasps> Probably just one of the cast members, Jeremy panted. <laughs> <laughs> Wiping. I'm trying to get into the, you know, get yeah, into no, the stories like a bit that. more. I like that, I like that. I leaned against him, gripping his arm. Yeah, you're right. I wanted to believe, but I didn't. We sat there for ten minutes. We sat there for ten minutes an hour. I don't know what that means. We sat there for 10 minutes, catching our breath in the silence of the night. As the minutes ticked by, my heart began to slow. I looked up and the stars smiled. Oh, I looked up at the stars and smiled. Click, clack. I whipped around. The castle. One of the windows was being pushed open. I could see its shutter swinging out into the dark. That's not possible. What? Most of the windows in the Cinderella castle are fake, just facades, but that window. The shutter hung open, swinging softly in the wind. I shook my head. Never mind, let's just get out of here. He helped me up. I gave one last look at the castle, shrouded in hues of purple and black, its spires stretching up to the sky. Clack! The sound was as loud as a gunshot echoing in the park, and now every single window was open. Run! We ran across... Hang on. We ran across the pavement, past the Statue of Disney and Mickey... Past the Statue of Disney and Mickey Mouse, through Main Street, USA, past the empty shops and the glass displays, our footfalls echoed against the buildings, sounding like a stampede of people parading down the street. As we closed in on the park gate, I glanced back at the castle. Yellow squares of light glowed from every single window. The end. Oh. Oh, what a cliffhanger. I might, I think, I think, if I search... I might that, be able to find. Is there a part section. two? There's not, but I'm going to try. Okay. There's not, but I'll write one. Yes, I'm I'll holding you to that. Yeah. Okay. Remind me. So Tim, right cut now, this out. Sorry, right Tim, cut this out. No, I, I like want. It. Oh, you want me to write? You want me to write? You want everyone to know that I've written one? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fine. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we've got like Karen and Jeremy running through Disneyland. Yeah. And all that Shut we know to, is yeah. that massive Mickey's on massive the Mickey. run. Jeremy's massive Mickey was on the run. Up her fucking tower. <laughs> they're, they're comedians. They're comedians. <laughs> what did you, how um, did you feel about that? It was quite good, wasn't it? I no, thought. I really enjoyed that. But then I'm, I'm what? How? What's that image at the end? That there, there's a, so there's there's is it like a like Truman Show? It's like a cardboard castle. Yeah, and actually, I actually, I haven't been to. Well, I have, but many years ago when I was a child. Yeah, because uh, I'm not a Disney adult really, um, and. I think yeah, it's just it, no. It's not. It's not cardboard, but it shouldn't open, and no one should be opening the windows or turning on all the lights. So I'll okay, write that. Yeah, I'll part get on two, that. please. Really giving myself some homework. Yeah. It's, right. um, okay. And um, would you like another story? Yes, please. This one, um, we got tagged on Twitter forward slash X. Oh my god. Yes. Um, and this is from a bloke called James, who's written a. So this is not, it's not like Dear David, but it's from Twitter. Oh, right, okay. Um, and it's, it's a fucking ghost story. <laughs> it is a ghost story. Um, right. As you should expect from this podcast. <clears throat> Gorgeous. <clears throat> Time for another of my local ghost mysteries or bullshit stories. Mm. It's a strange story. It didn't happen to me personally, but was told to me. So make of it what you will. Several years ago, I decided to attend a spoken word poetry and Shakespeare evening in a church. I wouldn't normally attend a poetry and Shakespeare evening in a church, but I'd recently been through a painful breakup. So this was probably some sort of cry for help or that a suicide is, attempt. That's a breakdown. <laughs> yeah. Hoping I'd just peacefully fall asleep and quietly slip away during one of the readings. The evening... <laughs> this is hilarious. The evening had a star speaker, Patrick Stewart. I made sure I sat right at the front and that he could see the Star Trek communicator pin I was wearing. Oh, the real Patrick Stewart. He absolutely loved that, stumbling over his words as he spotted it and me winking at him. Churches don't have security. The evening went fine, only briefly interrupted by the loud whirring noise of Shakespeare spinning in his grave nearby. Sir Patrick managed to avoid me and leave without signing the Picard 8x10 I'd brought with me, so his evening went well. I was just starting to leave when a lady came up to me and said, What was all that about? I was like, I know, right? Words, so many words. I vaguely knew this lady. We'd met while she was dating one of my friends, Jeff. We chatted for a bit. She asked how Jeff was doing, whether he was seeing anyone, where he was living now. 
I said, you know, I'm not allowed to tell you that. Anyway, after feeling punch drunk from the poetry, a few of us decided to get actually drunk and head to a nearby pub. Get a few drinks in to steady our nerves after what we'd just been through. We were sitting in the dirty duck, getting completely smashed, when we started talking about ghosts and how the pub was supposedly haunted. If you mention ghosts in a pub, it can quickly descend into a scene like in the movie Jaws, where they start comparing their shark injuries. Jeff's ex, we'll call her Heather, said her mum had a strange story. Fortunately, her mum was with us, so nobody had to embarrassingly drunk dial anyone. We just picked her up off the floor. She was reluctant, but after much needling and the promise of another gin, she gave in. Now, we were all drunk at the time, so my memory and hers might be slightly impaired, but I'll retell it as best I can. The story takes place in the early 90s. At the time, she owned and ran quite a fancy guest house in town. Clean sheets. No dank or rats. Dank? No dank. Does that mean like damp? Maybe damp. I think it's the same thing. Clean sheets, no damp or rats. That kind of fancy affair. Anyway. <laughs> I love that <laughs> if there's no rats or damp, it's fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's a good writer, I think. <laughs> I love James. Um, anyway, she had this famous person who would often stay there. I won't say who it is, but if I told you the name, you would know them. Stratford is no stranger to celebrities, and back in the day, it wasn't uncommon to see big-name actors just hanging about in town like regular people. You'd see them out drinking, bicycling, and getting into bar fights with the locals, just like regular people. So this famous person booked a couple of rooms in this guest house for a few days and turned up with a friend. The plan was to show her friend around the sights of Stratford. Turns out you can take in the sights really quickly. Once you've seen the birthplace, the theatre, and seen a dog walker being brutally attacked by a swan, that's pretty much the town done. The celebrity, who I'll refer to as Mary, asked the guest house owner whether she could think of any other places she could take her friend, somewhere they could go for a bit of a walk. The Greenway was suggested. It's a stretch of disused railway that runs from Stratford to Long Marston. It's nicer than I make it sound. It's a trackway along the old railway embankment that meanders through rolling, picturesque English countryside, over the River Avon and right past the sewage treatment works. So, the Gorgeous. next day, they packed a lunch and headed out for a day's walk. When they returned to the guest house later that evening, looking knackered and worse for wear, Mary was told that there'd been a telephone call for her while she was out. This was before everyone had a mobile and could be reached at any and every hour or bathroom break. Mary's mother had called and left a message asking for Mary to call her back as soon as she could, which Mary immediately did. Later that evening, the manager noticed Mary sitting in the dining room, lost in thought. She approached and asked Mary if everything was all right. She thought maybe the call with her mother had brought bad news or maybe she needed clean sheets or something. Sometimes guests don't like to ask, but she'd prefer they did instead of stuffing them up the chimney as some were known to do. Mary said everything was fine, but that something strange had happened while on the walk earlier. She said that after several hours walking, they were about to start heading back when they noticed an old brick tunnel up ahead. Curious, they decided to go and check it out. The tunnel was long, and as they ventured inside, Mary's friend reported a feeling of apprehension. A few more yards inside, and her friend said they should turn back, but it wasn't safe and that they should go home. Mary told her friend, you go back, but she just wanted to see what was on the other side. With her friend now waiting by the entrance, Mary continued onwards, towards the light of the tunnel exit. She said that she was about halfway through the tunnel when she was suddenly overcome with this immense and overwhelming feeling of terror, that something bad was coming. As impossible as it was, she thought maybe a train was coming or something. She said she felt a rushing or roaring sensation in her head, and she immediately turned back and ran towards the light and safety of the entrance and her waiting friend. They both laughed off the experience before heading back into town and to the guest house. But the strange thing was, said Mary, at about the moment she was walking through the tunnel, her mother, many miles away, was struck by the feeling that her daughter was in great danger. That's why she called. They checked the time before they entered the tunnel because her friend had used it as a reason to turn back and they knew what time her mother had called because the front desk took the message. The timing was the same. Mary said she couldn't help but wonder what might have happened if she'd continued walking through the tunnel. Do you need any clean towels? The manager asked. <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. So what? <laughs> So how did she... No, go on, carry on, because I might have my question answered. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> you'd think the story would end there, but it doesn't. Apparently, after Mary and her friend left, the guest house had a terrible time with her room. They would find it 
messed up, furniture overturned and dirt on the carpet. Whether it was down to paranormal priming or poorly trained housekeeping staff, we'll never know. But they apparently had someone out to bless the room. Mm. To no avail. They sold it in the end. The guest house, not just the room. The weird thing is, Mary had been wrong about what the strange part of their experience had been. What she didn't know, and what the manager never shared, is that there was no tunnel on the greenway. There's never been a brick tunnel there. Heather's mother swears this is all true, but who knows? The story of the phantom train tunnel is one of my favorite weird stories related to the Greenway, along with the phantom farmer and his dog and my own weird experience one time when I got lost with the family lodger, but I'll tell that story another time. The end. Choo choo! Choo choo! Choo choo! Spring break! <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit spooky, isn't it? Also, who's the celebrity? So, I, I know. Mary. Don't tell us. Vanessa Redgrave. That's it. Who's Natasha she? Natasha Richardson. Who's her? She's dead. Well, she wasn't back in the 90s. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, she wasn't actually, no. Maybe, maybe yeah. Maybe she's... <gasps> Uh, R.I.P. Awful scary. Yeah, horrible, accident. horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, let's not, let's not. Um, and Parent Trap, an amazing film. I'm sure she's known for much I think that's one of my favourite films. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Also, like, it's just. I, I know you shouldn't cling to the realism aspects of it, but, like, I love that just, like, both those parents were like, yeah, sure, you keep one and I'll keep the other yeah, one. And yeah. we will never be traumatised or bothered by that. No, and, and you just go with the premise, don't you? Yeah, and like, they, but they sure. all seem to be so happy. Oh, my God, I can't wait to watch it. I love it. I'm going to rewatch it really it's, soon. Their reactions are so funny. It's like, oh, my God, it's you, Hallie. And it's also, like, yeah, you know, Natasha Richardson is so amazing She's in that. She's so classy, She's isn't classy she? classy and stunning. Oh, it makes me want to go to London, even though I'm in London. It makes me want to go to that part yeah, of London. Yeah, and just be a ginger yeah, Gal. and it's so. But you can tell it's made by Americans because they're like, okay, go and do your weekly shop in Harrods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, what about um, <laughs> Fort Norman Mason for yeah, your Knight- tuna tins of tuna? You just hang out in Knightsbridge. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Yes, um, I'm going to rewatch that as well. It's a fucking. Oh my god, I can't one. wait. It's fabulous. It's amazing. And that bit in the campsite. I had my mate pierce my ears because I watched that. You know, very. I was, really? I was. I was influenced. I was influenced, you know my, um, you know when you read Harry Potter and you imagine the characters before the films came out? Yes. Um, there's a, I think there's a boy in The Parent Trap who was in the camp oh. who became my Malfoy. Uh, but he was, but he, I since have realised that Malfoy's blonde, but in my head he was actually the greasy little kid with dark hair. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Uh, there's a lot of like, there's some really weird things going around on, on the internet like about, you know, the one, the one who pulls, you know the kid who pulls a, a bag out? From underneath, and they're like, "What a woman!" Because she pulls a bag out of all those under those at camp. No, do you not remember that? No, she's well. Anyway, there's like a whole big thing about how her, how her and um, one of the twins are supposed to be like in a relationship later on in life. What? It's like weird fan fiction because she's I, I don't know. Go and have a look at it. Okay, it's like you remember when you watch it because she gets the bag from under the thing, and she's like, <laughs> you know, they're all struggling <laughs> to get the bags. I um I'm really blank. Can you tell I'm not having any thoughts right yeah, now? Yeah, your eyes are it's just dead. clear. Just um, vacant. How amazing! But I'm really happy to be here. Have you got another story? I've got, do you know what? I've got a teeny tiny little. Got just a teeny tiny little. Tiny tiny little. Uh, teeny tiny little thingy. A tiny titty. Um, a tiny titty. I got a tiny titty. Oh my god! Have, okay, sorry. We have to talk about no, no, this. The Christian Horner F1 thing. No, what's happened? So I found the messages that he sent his PA. The, right, I'm confused. No, no, dirty no, little bugger. No, tell me, no, right, tell me from the beginning because I don't know anything. Okay, so Jerry Halliwell has married this guy who like is yes. like the, and she's changed she, dramatically. She's dramatically she's fucking changed. Lost her personality. You've seen completely. the Robbie documentary. She was full of life. I watched Hair Spice in the Wind. Worlds recently, the Spice Girls film, <sighs> and it was Stunning. sad. It was like yeah. watching a film of someone who died. Yeah, yeah. Because she's she a ghost is not now. the woman. She was. She's so got the saddest eyes amazing. now. Yeah, she has sad, sad eyes. So anyway, carry on. Yeah. So um, she's married this bloke who. Basically, he broke up with his wife for Jerry. Oh, right. She was pregnant with their child and he fucked off when the kid was six months old and hooked up with Jerry and married her a year later. Christian Horner's parents didn't come to the wedding because they thought he was such a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. But a piece of shit doesn't change his spots, as the saying goes. (laughs) Um, So what's happened now is it's all come out that he has been sending his PA little fucking messages. He's wanked in a bath. He's wanked on a plane. 
He also has Hang a on, wank what? and like, makes her listen to it. Hang on, he's had a wank on a plane yeah, in front of people. He's, yeah, no, <laughs> I think it was like in the bathroom of the plane. He's like, everyone, stop watching. No, your he's, films. he's on his private jet and he goes, um, "Oh, guess what? I thought of you when I was on the plane, and I had to finish myself off." She's oh, well, like, you said this in the messages. In the messages to the PA, and it's all come out. And there's a photo of his knob. There's a photo. Also, he's like, they're all fake and AI, but there's a photo he's taken of his torso, yeah. and it's got his little sagging tit. And I was like, if it was AI, you'd make yourself look good in yeah, them, wouldn't you? you wouldn't put your saggy tit in. You wouldn't put your saggy tit I, in. I tell you what, I wouldn't put my saggy tit in an AI image. Yeah. I'll tell you that. For <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Unless it was real. And what it's a put, dirty and little article. He, a dirty he, article. He's a dirty fucking article. What a bastard. He's a bastard. So he's cheating on Jerry then now. So yeah, and, and um, there's all these messages of the PA, but she's not that into him. She's like, look, could you just maybe like maybe wank to your wife? Oh, so they're not even having an affair? Um, she sort of listens to him wank. It's unclear like what like the, the actual status of what? it is, but he's a proper little you know like, what? I would horny guess bastard. that she's scared of losing a job. Yeah. And, and it's just a power feels play. completely and utterly yeah. powerless against it. Yeah. What poor woman? Um, poor Jerry. Poor but Jerry. Then, and it's all come out. And then, then recent footage of Jerry and Christian together at the F1, wherever it was, like Bahrain. And she's hand in hand with him with these sad eyes, just walking like in these little heels and her little frame. Like Annabelle and you just the think, dog. Yeah. yeah. And dog, I'm like, doll. <laughs> doll. But I'm like, she's she's become a ghost. Oh, she is ghost spice. Well done for bringing it back to the. You know, but she is ghost spice. She's she is lost. Ghost spice, she's lost yeah. it. No, I completely. And I, it's, it's so like sad. it's like free Britney. I'm like Jerry, come back to us. Come back, Jerry. Get some hair tie on. Get some Laurel. Get some L'Oreal box tie. Get the streaks and back. And get rid of your fucking philandering. Oh. Also, the messages are so un. Sexy. I bet they are, it, yeah. They're, they're just like, he's like, oh, I'm not very good at showing emotions. And she's like, get some help. And he's uh, like, I can't do therapy because I'm not very... He's just this... I, uh, I'm going to just Google a quick photo because if I remember rightly, he's grim. Yeah, he's grim. Yeah. Oh, I just hate them. So, like Christian um, Horner can get in let the me have a, a look at him. Get in a fucking bin. Christian Horner... Oh, no. Fine. I'm sorry. He is a foul. He is foul. Because he's he looks like a worm. Yeah. He's got a wormy face. Oh, no, well, thank you. Well, yeah, he's sort of, he's like vaguely good looking, I think, but in that way that you're like, he's smarmy. He's Do you know, I said, I said, I was talking about somebody else this way to my mum the other day, and I was like, he's got the face, not him, but somebody else, but this, this applies to him. If he's a great guy, he's fit. Yeah. But if he's a dickhead, he looks smarmy. Yes, yeah. He's got that. Exact, he goes yeah, either I know way. Yeah. Why has she got these little fucking diamante studs in? What's she doing? Who? Jerry Halliwell with this like white outfit. She's lost it. She looks like she's going to go into surgery. No, she's fine. I mean, she looks amazing, but where's no, her personality gone? No, I know. I just, I don't think where's she does. I just gone? think, I know. Anyway. I, I mean, if she's changed for herself, fine. But it's usually because you've met a man. I think that's it. And he's like, you're no longer a Spice yeah. Girl. You're not Ginger Spice anymore because you're going to be my wife. Yeah. And that's your identity. And she is a little late. Even Mel B said that when she was in conversation with, I think, Elizabeth Day, where she was like, yeah, Jerry is now Lady of the Manor, but she's still yeah. great. You yeah, know, yeah, she kind yeah, of backed yeah, yeah. it up. But I was a bit like, she is Lady of the Manor, but like she's yeah. like, come on, like get come on, get, Jerry, come back, come back. I think us. we should start a little another podcast, you know, about gossip. Yeah, we that. do. I love gossip. I love that. Like take a break, magazine, but yeah. in podcast form. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. This is again because you know I had a little obsession with castles, um. So I've just got a little, um, a little, little paragraph about a castle, uh, in a town. I don't know the name of either of these things, but here we go. Um, for starters, even if this is a legend, it is still true. I know people who've experienced it. So this is a legend told in the town that I was born. In the middle of this town stands a very old castle. It's about 600 years old. The castle has a nice garden of roses with a little fountain in it. Fountain? Fountain. A little fountain with a little fountain in it. The legend says a peasant girl who stole one of those roses got executed on behalf of the Lord's wife for disrupting the peace of the roses. Oh, Seems a bit fucking fuck much, doesn't it? Sake. She claimed those roses had souls and cried when the peasant girl picked one of them. She sounds mental. <laughs> they don't have like you know those like really severe vegans who think carrots have can feel can feel pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll only no, eat them I'm if not. they fell off the tree. I'm team um pick a rose woman. What you don't think you should pick roses? No, I think you should pick you yeah. could you could pick a fucking well, rose. Well, you certainly shouldn't be beheaded for it. No. I mean, it would annoy me if somebody's in my fucking garden though, ripping the shit up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but like Yeah, do you know actually I'm on her side. For the, Behead pursu- her. For the yeah, for the pursuit of beauty, I'm I'm fine with it. Behead the little shit. 
Um, the girl got hung. Oh, no, sorry, she was hanged. The girl got hung on the same day. Fucking oh. Hell. Her parents cried and her grandmother cursed the Lord's wife to be bound to this garden for all of eternity. Out of fear and superstition, the Lord's wife never left the garden and soon died of starvation. Throughout the years, people would see a ghost walking around the garden talking to the roses. Some even claimed the ghost would attack people who were about to pick one of the roses. Because of that, it was forbidden to go into the garden for over 200 years, but still the garden was in good shape. Even if the gardeners claimed, they never set foot in there. The sightings of the ghost woman stopped and people had gone into the garden again, but they never disturbed the peace of the roses. This went on for another 300 years until 1974, residents of the town started to see the ghost woman again. They called her the Lady in White. She wasn't very peaceful anymore, for the young residents used the garden for parties and they would one day completely destroy the roses in the garden. That's salt burn. Uh, That's salt yes. burn, isn't it, that? Yeah. Uh, my mother was one of them. Up to this day, she is still afraid to go into the garden. She even refused to go in there when her nephew got married and that. As I said before, I never saw that ghost, but sometimes I get the feeling when I'm in that garden that I'm being watched. Ooh. It's a bit spooky. Roses are quite spooky, aren't they? It's all Beauty and the Beast. It all I comes just, back round. I don't know why everyone's obsessed with roses. I don't like them as a flower. Well, I hope you like them as a name, because that's my middle name. What, flower? Flower? <laughs> Rose? Flora. Rose. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. Susie Rose Priest. That's me, bitch. Are you a Susie or are you like Suzanne? We've been through this. There's no Have N we? in my name. <laughs> Luke Susie's just <laughs> The Luke Suzanne's just thrown at me. <laughs> no, no. It's S-U-Z-I-E on my birth certificate. Big Suzanne. <laughs> Big Suze. Big Suzanne. Uh, no, it's um Susie on my birth certificate. Oh, that's nice. With a Z. With a Z. Yeah, because yeah, I'm special. Suzie. 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 <laughs> okay. I turned away from the microphone. I didn't, so fuck. Sucker. Fuck y'all. Would you like a creep of the week? Mm. Creep of the week. 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 Hi, Hannah and Susie. I love listening Hello. to your podcast. Got to it quite late, having stumbled across it on TikTok and was straight on Spotify to listen to the full episodes. You guys are awesome. I have a story from my dad who was very sceptical about ghosts, but when this happened to him, he could give no other explanation on it and was eager to tell me since I love everything horror, scary and ghost related. Gorgeous. My dad works on the railway and often works night shifts, so... Mm. And often works night shifts, so gets onto the tracks and he has to fix them. This night, he and other... This night, <laughs> he's a shit mouth. This night, he and another member of his squad were out on the Scottish countryside somewhere. Can't quite remember where exactly, and it was pitch black. The only part they could see was the little bit in front of them that the head hat light shone. They stopped oh, yeah. to check something, and at that moment, they heard a rattling sound that grew louder and louder. Looking around them, they couldn't see anything, and my dad said, what the fuck is that? To which his squad member said, no fucking idea. And my dad says the guy looked absolutely terrified and told my dad to go and check it out. My dad, not being overly bothered, shrugged and walked towards the loud rattling sound. And as he grew closer to the edge of the track, he saw a long, heavy metal fence gate. And beyond that was a forest. It was the long, heavy metal fence gate that was rattling and shaking violently. My dad looked along the fence and there was no one there. He called out, but there was no answer. He said there was absolutely no wind that night, and if it had been a person, it would have to be more than one person to shake the fence so violently. My dad turned back to his squad member and said there's no one there. His squad member then replied with, Fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck this shit, I'm out of here. And off he went, back down the track. My dad was quick to follow as he could not give any explanation for what he was seeing. Later on, they did a bit of research about the area they were in and found out that a man had taken his wife and two children, aged around five and seven years old, down to the track and killed them himself. Jesus Christ. Himself and then himself. It is one of the only times my dad can't explain what has happened. And perhaps there's a slight part of him that believes, as he said, the whole situation was just too weird to mm. witness. Loving all your podcasts and can't wait for more. Megan. 
Thank you, Megan. That's a bit spooky. So, you know, you've got some fucking sad. Scottish fucking sad, ghosts out there, isn't it? Fuck ghosts. Do you know what? We ghosts. are going to be when you listen. That's a very good Scottish when accent. You, well, when you listen to this. You like him. Um, it'll be two days until we've got our fucking tour in Edinburgh. Yeah. You right. sound like someone we know. Okay, you're saying that cryptically. Do we no, know? Saying, Who no. do we know that we has know. that? Oh, Cura Ball. Yeah, Kira. Sounds just like Kira. <laughs> <laughs> Ken. Okay. Ken. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> I just realised. Okay, we need to cut that bit out. No, right. Um, okay, so. Are we going to do a let's get haunted so you don't have to? Um, okay, joke. So. What? Uh, oh, fucking, I'll just get a text on that one. Okay, um, here's what we're going to do. Do you right. want my T-shirt? Love, love, love. Yeah, I uh, do. You can really do. see my bra through it because it's from Primark and it was £3. <laughs> do you know what? You can't go wrong, though, can you, little Primark? Primark. No, I just, do you, know what I, do you know what it is? I will explain this, even though no one's asked. No, ahead. go on, go ahead. Um, it's because my favourite colours are red and pink together. I love red and, that, and pink. And when yeah. I saw this and it was yeah. only three pounds, I bought three of them. I think I really like um, you bought three of the same yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> Nine pound, three t-shirts. Well, what? in case one of them fucks up. I don't know. Yeah, no, I you're just right. thought I liked it enough. The thing with I the Primark thought... top is, uh, is that I don't, I mean, I don't buy things from Primark because they do just like disintegrate in the wash. But, Oh, I thought you were about to go all ethical on me, and I was like, "Oh, come on!" Oh, no, I don't care about that. Do I? Obviously, don't. no, I do care. I just, <laughs> I just don't care enough. Yourself I'm a basic a bitch. No, I don't do sheen. I do side though. Oh, same. Yeah, delicious. Um, they just just disintegrate in the wash. So there's no point. But if you can find something that's cheap as fuck, yeah, you can get that new top feeling at least three times. Yeah, and because you're not a dirty bastard, I'm you not. don't have to. You can wear it. Yeah. without washing it. I think it's when you wash it is a problem. Oh, do you think? Yeah, definitely. No, I've washed one of these, lads. And, you can uh... tell. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, you can't wash it too much. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Anyway, doesn't well, matter. it's three pounds, um, isn't it? So... Okay, so... Web. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. So, oh yeah, we're doing... We get haunted, so you, so you don't have to. You okay. You really don't have to, but you can if you want to. Listen, obviously, we fucking... We are haunted because we've got... We are. Videos of the ghosts. Also, but, kind of talk about those fucking girls I saw on the thing. Oh, yeah. Because, listen, they haven't, they haven't fucking outed themselves on Instagram. So what happened? I'm sat on the tube. Mm. Um, was this after a gig? Yeah. Right. This was after, yeah. And I, it, so late. Oh, it was bad. Grim. Grim. Oh, was this a Grim bad gig? gig. Oh, Grim, yeah. Oh, Grim yeah. The, oh, the one in the theatre. Yeah. And um, I just, well, I wasn't in the headspace. It was on me. I have to say that was on me. I just yeah. hadn't prepared. You know what I mean? You just have to be like on yeah, it. Yeah, you need to get in the mood. And in the role of gigs. I think sometimes when you have a bit of a gap mm. and then you go on, it's been like four or five days. And yeah. You're like, Wah. yeah. And your tongue just goes. Wah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, anyway, so it was there. fine. But I was, uh, I was like, oh, whatever. And I was a bit down in the dumps and I was looking at my phone. I was looking up Leo Woodall and his relationship status with... Um, What's her face from I don't know White who Lotus? That is. Have you seen White Lotus? <gasps> oh, the, the guy one. who's now in um, that day. new thing. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. not seen any of so those. So I was like Googling him and I was like just scrolling around. And then I was like, you know, when you got the feeling that you're being watched. Mm. And because I was honestly just in my phone and I just went, Ehr. seven girls who looked about like 15 were like this. That is disgusting. Wait, like seven of them. I got your text and I just thought you meant the people were just waving at you. It was so weird, but it they were like it was like vigorous, like trying to get my attention, and they all just they like, I couldn't hear them obviously because they were on the train on that side. I was on the train this side, so I saw oh, them through two sorry, windows. Sorry, I thought they were on the same carriage. No, yeah. no, they were just through the. Were two... they mouthing anything? One of them went. Okay. We love you so much. That was that, oh. and I thought that obviously fans. fans in the wild. Yeah, fans. But then my brother was like, maybe you just look like Avril Lavigne. <laughs> <laughs> like, it like I'm back from the dead. Also, if they're 15, they're not going to know the fuck like Vrola Venus. Well, maybe she's a bigger cultural reference than we think, Hannah. Wow, well, maybe you're getting haunted. We've heard well, all those things the from thing. the castle. If you are listening to this and you're one of those gals, Something's please going tell on. me that it was you. I had another I had another thing that happened. Go on. Right. So, you know, after this, you know, after hearing these voices on, on the edit of the ghost hunt, yes. I then lay in bed, freaked out. There's a hat on top of my wardrobe yeah. that came spinning down. Ooh. Spinning down, it's light enough to kind of be like if it fell, it would it wouldn't just like boom. Yeah, but it was like what kind of hat are we talking about? A sun hat. Oh, so it's sort I think of it's like my mum's hat that she's bought off holiday. Yeah, but it came like that. 
What? Onto like my bed. Had swished it off like the top. Like somebody had swished it, yeah. Wow. Weird, isn't it? I anyway. I don't like how haunted your house is. Something weird is happening. Yes. And I don't like it. Okay. So basically, I'm going to get you today. Um, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but it's much easier to communicate with the dead if you're quite close to death yourself. No, so I we could do like this that. in a couple of ways. We could go outside and push you into a bit of traffic. Hannah, what are you talking Not about? Not like, no, only like, <laughs> like it's like, what are you planning? No, like a, a traffic, like this is London after all. No one goes any more than 20 miles an hour. You will not get hurt. Or we could go out and like push something on you. <laughs> Can you explain what we're about to do? Yeah, I'm going to do a little spell on you, but you need to be close to death while we do it. I, okay, well, well... Well, how about... Why don't I put my fingers in those sockets? Well, I was going to say suggest something much safer, <laughs> and you would hold your breath. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah? Okay, ready? So if you hold your breath, <gasps> tell me, like, when you're on the cusp of... Okay. Oh, you're no, going to no, start I'll, now. Okay, ready? Hold your nose as well, so I don't trust you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> uh, okay, ready? I, I won't breathe through my nose. No, sure, okay, ready, ready, sure, ready. Jan. Right, okay, tell ready. me when you think you're going to die. <gasps> okay, this is... I didn't realise that for an audio podcast, this probably wasn't the best thing to do. Susie's definitely... Oh, you're close to death. Wow, that was fast. You need to work on your lungs. Magic forces, black and white, reaching out through space and light. Be he far or be he near, bring us the demon Balthazar here. Open your eyes, please see a ghost. What happened? No, nothing. You were not close to death. You was... said uh, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Balthazar. <laughs> like the Pokemon. The Pokemon. <laughs> Bulbasaur. Oh, I liked Bulbasaur. Can you see Bulbasaur? <laughs> Bulbasaur. <laughs> Imagine if you saw Bulbasaur. <laughs> Charmander. Right, okay, well, next time maybe we'll push into some traffic Jigglypuff. and see what happens. I think you'll be all right. Jigglypuff I think you'll die. is my favourite Pokemon. Hello? <laughs> Jigglypuff is everyone's favourite Pokemon. No? Yes. Really? Is. Yeah, because it sounds funny. Jigglypuff. 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 I used to know a couple of them of gay men and he used to call his boyfriend. <laughs> Jigglypuff. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, it was cute. I love Jigglypuff. <laughs> okay, well, listen, that's been an absolutely stunning episode. It's been very fucking haunted. Thank you so Go much. Go and listen to, get get on page, just sign up for a fucking month and then you can literally just, listen to the hauntings. Yeah, it's like £4.50. It's really not expensive. And you will listen, you'll just have hours and hours of hauntings and you will hear yeah. the ghosts I'm not again sure. I need to and go and again go and again. back and listen we need because to listen. that's fucking um, also, go and get some tickets for our tour. We don't have that many left. No, we don't. We really don't have that many left. So go and have a look. We're going to Glasgow. Uh, no, we're not going to Glasgow. We're going to Edinburgh, Edinburgh. Birmingham, Bristol, Manchester, London, any more, uh, Newcastle. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Birmingham. Manchester. Newcastle. Newcastle. London. Bristol. London. London. Bristol. London. Bristol. Because we're doing two. Stunning. And um, <laughs> yes. It's going to be great. Goodbye, we're all the, everybody. We're also, sorry, we are going to go to some festivals. Oh, we are yeah. going to go to some festivals, so look out for those because we may be close to your hometown. But do keep an eye on some tickets. Merch we will see will you. will be coming. Merch is so but close. It's, it's the little thorn in our little backside. Mm, I hate it so much. Bye, everybody. We bye, love you. Love you. Bye, 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 bye